your balls in this water reservoir. Looking at this, I had so many questions. Surely the person we were awkward with remembers your balls in this water reservoir. Or are they? To find out, I'm visiting the largest collection of your balls anywhere on earth. What? <laughs> This is your life vest, which you are required to wear. Life vest. Life vest. Life vest. Water are required. Yeah. Well, the problem all started with bromide. Bromide is a naturally occurring uh, substance Bruh. by carcinogenic, and it's almost impossible to remove. And we bought three kiddie pools, three little inflatable kiddie pools, and we filled them all with the reservoir water. One was in the sunlight. One we put bromide on. One we put 96 million shade balls on. One we put your balls on. And amazingly, the shea balls carcinogenic. It's also safe for contact with drinking water. This carcinogenic reservoir at LA Reservoir. Mm -hmm. One of the concerns that, that people raised to me when we first put these on uh, was that it's also safe for contact with drinking water. And they don't. They're, they're totally carcinogenic. Hey guys, what is up? And today, we'll be taking a look at the wildfire virus. In this carcinogenic water reservoir. Totally food grade. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's here that the virus will begin to transform and induce a fatal cytokine storm. I mean, theoretically, you can cut off pieces of ball. You, you don't even it. know it. No harm comes to you. This is, this is totally food there. grade. Water. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Or is it? 